Well, the New Orleans City Council filed motions in court today asking a judge to block Mayor Cantrell from spending money from a major trust fund worth millions of dollars every year. Eyewitness investigator David Hammer is here with the latest in a long battle, David, over the Wisner Trust. That's right, Cherise. Like you said, the Wisner Trust means millions of dollars to the city, but it's also the subject of a big legal fight between the mayor and the city council. If the trust stays in place, the mayor gets to decide how the money's spent, but if the trust expired, far more money would come to the city and the city council would get to say in how it's spent. Edward Wisner died in 1914 and left huge tracts of land in a trust. After 100 years, the land and any money it generated was supposed to go over to the city of New Orleans. The Louisiana Fourth Circuit, which is an appellate court, has already said that trust is gone. The Wisner lands meet big money for the city. They include Port Fouchon, one of the busiest oil and gas ports in the world. Leases there generate about $10 million a year for the Wisner Trust. And under the trust, about $3.5 million of that goes to the city of New Orleans each year. But if the trust had gone away like it was supposed to eight years ago, City Councilman Joe Geruso says all of the land and all $10 million or more in revenue each year would be going to the city. Why not have all of it come back to the city and then we can decide how we dole it out? The answer may be this. Under the trust, the mayor doles out the money. If the trust goes away, the city council gets to decide. When you have a trust and it's dead, it cannot be revived. It cannot be resuscitated. You can't do any paperwork that makes it come alive again. Today, the council filed a motion in Orleans Parish Civil District Court asking a judge to dissolve the trust and block Mayor Cantrell from spending any more of the city's share. Step one is let's stop spending money and put just a pause on that so it isn't going and we don't know where it's going. But then step two is to have the court say officially for the second time now that the entire corpus belongs to the city and it's back in the city's hands. For generations, mayors held public meetings so a panel could recommend Wisner grant recipients to the mayor. Those recipients had to file public spending reports. But Jeruso says Cantrell isn't doing any of that. Bottom line, we don't know who Mayor Cantrell has been giving this money to. We do not know. And as I reported yesterday, Mayor Cantrell sent $850,000 in Wisner money to a nonprofit she created called Forward Together New Orleans. Forward Together New Orleans now has its bank account frozen and is under investigation by the Inspector General. You know, David, the Wisner Trust sounds pretty complicated. How did we get to this point where we're fighting over it? Yeah, well, it started in 1914 when Edward Wisner died and the trust was established. And in 1928, there was an agreement to share the funds 40% to the Wisner heirs, 35% to New Orleans, 12% to Tulane, 12% to Charity Hospital, now LSU Health Center, and 1% to the Salvation Army. And in 2014, the trust was supposed to end, but it kept operating as before. And in 2020, Mayor Cantrell tried to make the trust perpetual. And in February 2022, the city council intervened and called Cantrell's actions illegal. And today, the council filed for an injunction and a restraining order. All right, well, much more to come on that then. Thank you, David.